What's up guys this is Samuel and I'm back with another episode of my travel series Travel Escapades Spiti Valley Adventure So in the last episode I reached Nako and captured some splendid bounded moments of Nako village This episode I'm going to show you the monasteries that I visited on day 6th and 7th So fasten your seat belts it's going to be a bumpy ride This is Dabo. In the wee hours on the sixth day, I reached Dabo Monastery. As I walked through the lane, I was drawn to the soulful atmosphere of this place, making me wonder how people would have been living here for ages. The first glimpse of Dabo Monastery took me to medieval time of ancient India, where this village was flocked by monks and simple village folks. This huge structure on the right hand side is actually the monastery restaurant. and on the left hand side there are few shops where you could buy souvenirs and take home for travelers who want to try out food cooked by the monks can check out dishes like sampa pancakes ginger lemon tea roasty and soup called samtak with local cheese but the overall food quality i would say is you know average Photography in some places is not allowed so please mind your cameras when you step inside This ancient structure stands on a barren cold rocky desert of Tabo Valley at a dizzying height of 3050 meters above sea level The monastery museum is rich with many priceless collection of thangkas manuscripts well preserved statues frescoes extensive murals which cover most of the wall The monastery was developed as an advanced center for Buddhist learning and to preserve the Buddhist legacy. The monastery complex comprises of 9 temples, 23 chotuns, a monk's chamber and an extension that houses the nun's chamber. Some temples in the complex are regarded as earlier construction while another group belongs to a later period. The temple in the first group includes the temple of the enlightened gods, golden temple, the mystic mandala temple, initiation temple, the bodhisattva mitriya temple and the temple of Dramdhan. One fact to share is that after the earthquake of 1975 a new monastery was built and in 1983 a new dukang or assembly hall was constructed it is here that the dalai lama held the kal chakra ceremonies in 1983 and 1996 after more than 1000 years of existence nothing has changed at tabo monastery the monks still perform the rituals offering prayers lighting the ears in a traditional manner The serenity and tranquility of this place is what draws one back to it and makes one want to share it with those you love. Too many people equate traveling with escape from reality instead of actually seeing it as a choice to build a different reality for themselves. I'm glad you feel otherwise. So as the sun went down, I was thrilled to travel next day and explore more of this hidden valley in this rocky Himalayan terrain. Next day's adventure took me to the famous ski monastery and places around it.
Photography in some places is not allowed, so please mind your cameras when you step inside. One look from the entrance gate provides you with a scenic landscape which forms the backdrop of Ki Monastery. Ki Gompa is a Tibetan Buddhist monastery located on the hilltop at an altitude of 4166 meters above sea level. The monastery is famous for its architecture called Peseda style. The Peseda style is characterized by two or more stories, often plays the role of a fort monastery. Key monastery was destroyed by invaders and rebuilt several times. Now the temples and the other buildings appear to have been stacked haphazardly. The rooms with murals called Tengyo is a must-see. The monastery is also known for its ancient murals, rare tankas and ancient weapons. The images of Gautam Buddha in Dhyana positions are a must-see. The monastery also has a sizable collection of musical instruments like trumpets, cymbals and drums. The monastery is spread over three floors underground, ground and first floor. Underground is mainly utilized for storage. Ground floor is used as assembly hall called Dukang. The ground floor also has small rooms for monks. Surrounded by snow-capped mountains and glaciers, the beauty of the valley is breathtaking. I had this rare opportunity to speak to Nima Lama who shared his personal experience, history of the monastery and the Save Dhanka project. Nima Lama will humbly guide you through the monastery with a chai treat, so don't miss it. It's always a delight to watch young lamas play football, volleyball and even cricket when they are not meditating or doing their regular chores. Heck, you can also join them for a game of volleyball or cricket. Then you can walk into the restaurant near the parking lot known as Noryang restaurant that provides Chinese, Italian and Tibetan food. So I had a hearty good time over there. The picturesque Lahaul and Spiti embraces several treasures in its vicinity. And Comic is one such place, which is set beautifully amid the stunning mountains in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Comic Village is the highest village in Asia and is located at the height of 18,000 feet above sea level. The beauty of this place cannot be described in words. It can be only experienced and felt with naked eyes. We can also boast of the world's highest post office, which is in Hikkim. Two runners take turns in delivering mails on foot from Hikkim to Kaza every morning, from where it is taken by bus to Rekong Pio, onwards to Shimla, further by train to Kalka, loaded on a bus again headed to Delhi and distributed by rail or air depending on its destination. On the way towards Lanza, I witnessed the untamed barrel, also known as the Himalayan Blue Mountain Chief from Great Himalayas in their natural habitat. Downhill I crossed Lanza which is nestled between the mountains in a bowl-shaped area in Spiti Valley. The village has a population of about 137 people living in 33 houses. Another fun-filled day ended and I was hungry and tired. But today was my lucky day because I got a treat from Aarti and Arvind, the tour operators at Cafe Dezu and I was excited to have it. So this Cafe Come Hotel is a traveler's haven for food, drinks and to see some real fossils from the prehistoric Jurassic era stacked on the side wall tables in the cafe. So this way the day ended but not my journey. I'm very much excited for the next episode that is going to be coming soon which is the last episode of the series. So please watch, share and like this video and subscribe to my channel.